Hi everyone, about a minute on expanding electric grids. It's easy to talk about expanding grids. It's really hard and really expensive to do so. Why am I talking about electric grids? Well, before I get to that, if you don't know me, my name is Robert Bryce, I'm a reporter. I give you the numbers and the facts, not the spin about energy and power. Okay, so there's a lot of interest now on electric grids in Europe. Why? Because of exactly a week ago today, of course, that Spain and Portugal got hit by a blackout, 50, 55 million people lost power. And today, a week after the blackouts, Reuters uh, ran an article that says, EU power grid needs trillion dollar upgrade to a avert Spain style blackouts. Well, okay, a trillion dollars, that's a lot of money, particularly in Europe now where a lot of these countries don't have extra cash. But further, it shows that trying to integrate weather-dependent renewables, weather-dependent generation like wind and solar is very expensive. But the key point here is this idea that you're going to make these massive grid expansions and upgrades. It's easy to say, but grids expand very slowly. And why is that? It's because of land use conflicts all across the country here in the US all over Europe, all over Australia. Local people are saying, we don't want these high voltage projects coming across our neighborhoods. We don't want them in our towns and our provinces and our counties, put them somewhere else. They don't bring us any benefit. But the other key point here is that they're very expensive. And there's one project now in Virginia, Dominion Energy just announced it, seven mile project designed to supply uh, power to a data center it's gonna cost $121 million. That's $30 million a mile. So insanely expensive um, to, to, to bolster electric grids. Batteries are expensive. All this stuff costs money. One final point, and that is that just last week, Reuters reported on the instability that was happening in Spain's electric grid in the days before the blackout hit on April 28th. They reported that on April 22nd, that is just six days before the blackout, uh, that uh, high-speed trains near Madrid were stranded because of instability on the grid. Um, and then that same day, there was a refinery in Cartagena uh, that was also interrupted due to what uh, Reuters is calling significant instability. Well, from where is this coming? I think that the reality is, and the investigation is going to find, that it was coming from the solar projects. That you know, Spain was has been getting a lot of its power from solar. It works fine a lot of the time, but it creates instability in the grid. It fragilizes electric grids, and that's what we're seeing. And now we're saying, oh, well, we need to bolster the grid. Again, easy to talk about, very hard and very expensive to do. I'll stop there. You can find me on Substack. You know where to find me, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.